in a database, when you experience that the database is running slow, or the database is consuming a lot of resources, or your queries are running slow, your end users are complaining that the database is not performing, then these are all examples of symptoms that people are facing. You as a DBA, as a tuner, would have to troubleshoot to identify what is the root cause, what is the problem that is causing all these symptoms? What is the root cause which is making the database behave slow? To do this, you need data or you need diagnostic data. Just like how a physician might ask you to get some tests done, maybe a blood test or a urine test or an MRI scan, which enables him to identify what's happening in their body, the database to troubleshoot provides you a lot of diagnostic data. These could be in the form of V dollar views, it could be snapshot based AWR reports, ASH reports, alert log files, there is a lot of data. But we need to understand which data to look at and how to interpret it. That's the idea behind the next few videos and the first thing we will look at is V dollar views. V dollar views are dynamic performance views. Otherwise, they're also called as fixed views or fixed tables. These are part of the database at the time of database creation itself. There is a script catalog.sql, which is run at the time of database creation, which creates all these tables. So this is part of the Oracle database itself. These views capture data automatically about what the database is doing. And they generally don't provide read consistency and more importantly, they are in-memory data, meaning only when the instance comes up, it captures information. When you shut down, they are all gone. Another important aspect is the $0 views generally have data aggregated since the time the instance was started. So if you went and looked at a $0 view like $0 SQL or $0 SQL area, they will give you data since the time the instance started, what are all the SQLs that ran. You are not going to know about at a particular time which SQL ran. V$ views don't enable you to go and troubleshoot to find out at a particular time what happened. That's not what is the purpose of V$ view. V$ view gives you aggregated data. From these V$ views, there is something called as metric that is captured automatically by the database. Metric is about rate of change in performance statistics. And some metrics are captured every second, some every five seconds, some every one hour, etc. Different metrics, depending on how frequently they have to be gathered, are automatically gathered by the database. Beyond that, there is also something called as an AWR repository or the Automatic Workload Repository. What is this? You don't have time to go and keep looking at V$ views on a regular basis. You're anyway busy with doing various other database administration tasks. The AWR is basically a repository of all this data taken in the form of snapshots. What is the objective of an AWR report? An AWR report is to give you a holistic picture about what happened in the instance or what happened in the database. Similar to in a city, if the traffic management department would like to see what is causing clogging in the traffic in the city, they're going to have a holistic view about what's happening in the city overall. They are not going to be bothered about what a particular car is doing. A particular car is similar to a SQL. SQL tuning needs different types of analysis. If you want to look at what a particular car is doing, then you need to sit inside that car and see how that person is driving. Whereas traffic management is not to look at an individual car. It's to look at an overall perspective and see what's happening in the city overall. Similarly, an AWR reports objective is to tell you what is happening in the database or in the instance during a period of time. How do we identify this during a period of time? The AWR basically captures snapshots. You can define how frequently you want these snapshots to be captured. By default, it is every one hour. What is captured in a snapshot? Snap is a picture. So the AWR snapshot basically creates a copy of all the V$ views at any given time and then another snapshot at the next point in time. Another snapshot at the next point in time. So if I have configured AWR to gather one hour snapshots, 
then for example I would have a 10 o'clock snapshot 11 o'clock snapshot 12 o'clock snapshot and so on at each snapshot the data that is present is as of that time what was there in these v dollar views 